Right, last day on this hopefully. I've got a simple cornice to play in and a skirting that's going to be a bit thicker than what it looks like now so I'm going to lift this up a little bit. I think it needs to be a bit thicker. And while I remember, remember we laid these boards on the table. These two had a very similar bend. This one was bent, this one was bent and the end one was bent. I could pull them in with hinges. This one was pretty straight. And it lines up quite well. And these two had a very similar bend in them. They've been kicking around a little bit, these doors, because it took time to get the hinge cutter. But if I push it into shape a little bit, they line up top and bottom. And they had a similar bend in them, so they finished flush rather than rather than kicking out. So even they're not, even though they're not straight, they match each other. I'm going to do the skirting and the cornice first, then I'm going to do the handles when I've warmed up a little bit. I make mistakes if I come straight into the workshop and do jobs like that. Right, I've planed some wood, skirting, cornice. I'm going to put a little round on it, on one edge, with this. It's got a bearing cutter. This route is brilliant. It comes in very useful for all sorts of things. I only really use two, this one and the big Makita, I think you can see on the table there. Oh, and the other, the Triton in the router table there, that's it. But this I've had mm, 20 years, more maybe. Anyway, it's a bearing runner like I say. I'm going to whiz these off. So it gives a very clean cut. I like it if nothing else for this tilting mechanism. I've had to function my fence a little bit, but that's okay. I had to take a notch out of my fence for this. glue these together then I can give that sand spray it and it'll be all in one piece I've left these too long so that I can just trim them to length on site I'm gonna use activator there's enough in there this goes off very quickly especially with the activator that's almost instant but I still like to just leave them for a short while, 10-15 minutes, go have a cup of tea or something. Just soak in a little bit so don't be tight. I could put some tape on this and fold them like these people do with the mitered boxes. But yeah.
so it's not perfect tiny little gap there I think that's because the blade's blunt on the saw but that's what you get on site and then it looks a bit crap it's doing it this way and spraying it round I can fill that if I need to little gap on the top there look. sometimes the wood's a little bit cooked I'm just playing this so it shouldn't be but doing it this way it's just you get a better finish in the end Even though that's dry, I'll leave it. Go a cup of tea before I touch it. I'm going to sand these round. I've got a very small gap up here. I don't know if you can see that. It's only tiny. I'm going to sand these round anyway, but if you get a screwdriver or a bar or something, you just run that in a little bit. Tap it with a hammer, maybe. Just glue showing through there. Right, just stood them places up in place, clamped them on the top temporarily. I've left them long so that I can cut them on site. It's gonna be a slight gap there. I might just pack this board out a little bit when it comes to it on site same up there time to put these handles in first thing I need to do that brace fell out that was in the top there first thing I need to do is get these doors lined up and then handles a normal standard handle would be a meter high and we're putting finger pull holes in. I haven't decided how, how big they are yet. These two are sort of double width so you can get your fingers in. But this one is going to be single so I might have to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to do them here while they're still hanging. Because then I can get the, the two lined up. If one's slightly higher than the other, I can just take a little bit more out. Make sure the doors are level at the top. I put a mark a metre high, that one. And then I couldn't really decide, so I just went sort of between this rail, slightly higher. Same on that one. Put a little tick on it, so I can see it. That one, I'm going to scrub out. Ah, it's got to go for it now. Hope for the best. This is the cutter I'm going to use. It's an old one in here somewhere. There. See, it's a bit old and manky, burns a bit. I seriously need to make a router box. Cutters in there. Quite expensive ones. Cutters up there, collecting dust. Anyway, I'm going to use this one with a fence in the little router. Could, this is a quarter inch collet. You 
can get these things they only cost a few pound a piece they make it up to half inch so I can put it in the bigger router and then use one of these sort of things template guide and you can do and you can use it make templates some more templates up there so you can make like round finger cutter holes like I did on these drawers but this one is going to be just cut out so I'm just going to use my fence when I set it up this top curve here wants to be flush with the surface of the door and our little curves flush with the base of this fingers behind there just I might do a second one see what it looks like when I do it on the doors I'll make it a little bit more round like that rather than where I butchered it down here do it in slow cuts it's a pretty flat bottom I'm not worried about this burning I'll give it a sand but it's going to get painted I did a quick second one just get your finger in that it's quite a new bit so it shouldn't be burning too much but like I say I'm not worried about that wish me luck Not coming back from there. Worked out all right. I've got to do the other one. See how it looks. 
didn't need to put them clamps on, I could have just opened this door. Not bad actually. Take a little bit out of this one. I might even leave it at that, sand it. Because sometimes touching things up is where you cock it up. Leave it alone. Right, this one. I can only just just get my fingers in that one so I'm gonna make that a little bit deeper that's quite wide anyway so Sure about them, but they're done now. 